Kind of CFCO, Chad of Kent's Country, hanging out at the Riverbank. It is a record from Brad Paisley. It's uh, 12 minutes past 10 o'clock on uh, Wednesday morning, as I mentioned before. A couple of uh, couple of guys showed up this morning at the studio with uh, some Larry Bay guitars, and they came in and they said, how's it going? We said, well, do you guys want to be on the radio? Like, uh, <laughs> uh, a couple of guys out of the uh, east coast of Canada, or sort of the west coast of Canada. Uh, Dungarees, James and Rob joining us. How's, how's it going? going? Good, Great. man. Good to see you. Good to be here. Uh, how was the drive-in? Uh, rain uh, okay? A little wet, but we made it. Yeah, nice. not, a, not a problem. Good stuff. So uh, for folks that aren't familiar with, uh, with, 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 with you guys, let's do a little, uh, a little uh, W5, if you will, on, on the boys. <laughs> uh, Dungarees, uh, you released an EP, I guess, last September. That's yep. right. Yeah. The first one. Uh, Five-song EP, which uh, focuses on the, the first single, Ain't Through Being Happy Yet, which I, I think we're going to get a little taste of in, in a few. Yeah. Um, so you got the EP out. You're doing some some touring throughout uh, throughout Canada, throughout uh, throughout Edmonton. I understand you did a pretty big gig this past year at the Stampede. Yeah, that's uh, right. In Calgary with a lady by the name of is it Reba something? Reba, I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that must have been okay. That was pretty incredible. Yeah, that was a fun gig. Good was time. that uh, was that the first outing at the Stampede for you guys? Yeah, that was. Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, that was our first Stampede gig together. It's funny. I must have missed your gig because I was actually. Uh, and this is a true story. I was actually at a wedding in Calgary the, the same weekend that the Stampede was on, and I didn't actually realize the Stampede was on. We were down there, and I was when we got to the airport and we're walking around. I thought there are a lot of fake <laughs> cowboys. Like everybody had like that typical, oh, yeah, you know, the yeah. Wrangler jeans yeah. and the brand new hat. Yeah. And, like, everybody. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Everyone and in Calgary all of a sudden becomes a cowboy during that. One hundred percent. It's a, it's a, it's an interesting vibe. So that gig was a sold out show. Was that the biggest show you guys have played as yes. the Dungarees? Yes, definitely. Yeah. It was incredible. You know, we were we were direct support, which is uh, very lucky to be that. Basically, that means we get to play right before Reba, and uh, but we we were sort of expecting, you know, maybe people were going to be straggling and coming in slowly, maybe a half full uh, room, and we got on stage. The lights came up, and it was packed full. That's awesome. And uh, man, it was a they were. The crew was great. Everyone treated us so so well, and uh, and then uh, yeah, afterwards we we had a lineup of uh, folks to meet, and uh, it was really really a good time for sure. Did you get a chance to hang out at all with Reba? Or? We hung out with the crew, and she yeah. was around. Uh, we 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 could have, but I think we were just sort of so in our own <laughs> little element yeah. there that it was like ah didn't want to push it yeah exactly yeah, yeah so. it's always tough as the opening act like like you said it's nice when you have a packed house but you never know you look out there's three guys there yeah like, what the hell is going on <laughs> there for Reeves there's four guys here yeah. but then as well when you meet a superstar like that do I do I play the fan card do I try to be on her level yeah. or do I just leave her the hell alone yeah yeah right? I think we kind of lean towards leaving her alone yeah, yeah. the crew yeah. was amazing her band was awesome we actually were uh, they were still sound checking when we set up on stage. And uh, they were all coming over and asking us about our gear and songs. And we have this old school bus that we tour, we've been touring in. And they, the, a whole crew came and wanted to hang out in the bus <laughs> and check it out. And it was pretty funny parked next to uh, their, you know, I beautiful bet. coaches and stuff. So, I bet. Yeah. Uh, good stuff. So we got to talk about the name just just quickly because I'm sure folks are wondering. The dungarees, is it uh, anything to do with the jeans or that WKRP? You got it. Episode? Exactly. You're maybe the first person to get it on the first try. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's an older term. Um, that basically just means, uh, you know, blue jeans, denim jeans. Um, so we're just sort of normal guys. We wear jeans. You know, I don't know. It just sort of makes sense. Did you uh, did you get the reference with the WKRP? Absolutely. Yes. You got yes. that? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Good for you. <laughs> we were actually watching the video this morning when we, I don't know if it was Dave that you just met, he typed in dungarees on Google, yeah. and then the WKRP episode yeah. with dungarees versus suits popped up. So <laughs> that's we awesome. talk with that one more. Uh, I understand you guys spent some time in Nashville recently, too. We did. Yeah, we got to go down and uh, write with some tremendous writers and uh, work with a uh, great producer named Ray Kennedy. He's done a lot of Steve Earle stuff, Lucinda Williams, Buddy Guy, all kinds of people. Sweet. And uh, you know he's got a shelf full of Grammys there, and so yeah, it's pretty yeah. amazing. He's got this room with about eighty guitars. Uh, yeah, I was going to say maybe two hundred, but somewhere between eighty and two hundred beautiful vintage guitars. I actually got to play uh, uh, P bass, which is a uh, precision bass yep. by Fender, yep. uh, which came out in 1960, nice. and this was a 1959 prototype. So basically, the first P bass ever made, and I got to play it on a demo recording. Yeah, so how, was, how, did, awesome. you, did you try to take it home too? Did I did. How much do I got to get to <laughs> this guy here? Uh, are we going to get a full length then to, at some point? Absolutely, yeah. that's the plan. We're, we're, gonna, we're working on trying to get into the studio this summer and record with Ray down in, in Nashville and uh, hopefully have that ready by uh, the fall at the latest. 
Uh, touring this summer, any plans? Yeah, yeah lots, yeah, lots yeah. of gigs, lots of festivals, lots of rodeos. Uh, so yeah, we're the calendar is pretty much filled up already for us for for this for the season. Yeah, and are you great. doing all of Canada or just West Coast stuff? It's all from the from basically Manitoba West for yeah. now, and then I think come fall is when we're going to be back out here. But we are playing in Toronto on Friday um, at the uh, the Phoenix. Oh, Phoenix cool. Theater. Good for you. So, yeah. All right. uh, let's do a little plug of the website and the the Twitter and all that stuff. Are you guys involved in your Twitter machine? Or do we you sure are. Do that? Yeah. yeah. Rob's yeah. the Rob's the Twitter guy for sure. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a Twitter guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we're on Twitter. We're on at Instagram. At Dungarees Band is our Twitter and Instagram. I'm not sure what that is. And then uh, thedungarees.com is our website. Yeah, thedungarees.com website. Okay. Well, uh, now that we've uh, did the introduction and uh, got to meet you, let's uh, let's hear it too. Right uh, James and Rob, the band is called the Dungarees. Check them out online. This is uh, the first single. It's called Ain't Through Being Happy. Yeah, Dungarees, CFCL. <laughs> It's the, uh, the Dungarees, that tune called Ain't Through Being Happy Yet. Uh, an EP is now available. Check out their websites again, thedungarees.com. Follow them on Twitter, and we look forward to uh, seeing you guys again. Hey, thanks so much for having Thank us in. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. Great stuff. James and Rob, the band is called The Dungarees. Again, check them out online, thedungarees.com. <laughs>